Every sunrise in Dubai isn't just light, it's power. In a city once known for its oil, the new gold glows above the desert sand. This is the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park, a place where sunlight becomes the future. I'm here today to explore how Dubai plans to generate 5,000 megawatts of clean energy, enough to power over a million homes, and in doing so, cuts 6.5 million tons of carbon emissions every year. Let's see how one of the sunniest cities on Earth is reinventing itself. Located in Saya Al Dahal, about 50 kilometers south of the city of Dubai. It covers a total area of 77 km2. The plant was the region's biggest of its kind when it opened in October 2013 and served as the cornerstone of an ambitious plan to produce up to 1 gigawatt GW, of the Emirates' electricity from solar energy. The project was acknowledged for setting new standards for the construction of utility-scale solar power facilities in the area due to its size and location. It also serves as a showcase for FIRST Solar's cutting-edge technological and EPC capabilities. This project began with a bold vision from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum to make Dubai the clean energy capital of the world. Launched in 2013, the solar park started small, just 13 megawatts. Today, it's one of the largest single-site solar parks on Earth. By 2030, the goal is 5,000 megawatts, that's 5 gigawatts of sunlight converted into power. The Dubai Clean Energy Strategy 2050 aims for 75% of all Dubai's energy to come from renewable resources. This is not just an engineering project, it's a statement that leadership and long-term vision can transform even the harshest climates into an opportunity. So, how does it work? There are two main technologies here. Photovoltaic panels which convert sunlight directly into electricity. And concentrated solar power or CSP, which uses mirrors to focus sunlight into heat and store it for nighttime use. This tower standing 260 meters tall is one of the tallest towers in the world. It can store energy up to 15 hours providing power even when the sun sets. And what's fascinating is the cost. The park achieved record-breaking prices, just 2.4 US cents per kilowatt hour. That's amongst the cheapest solar power in the world. With the help of the First Gulf Bank, the National Commercial Bank, and the Samba Financial Group, a CWA power was able to secure a $344 million, 27-year debt finance loan. First Solar's cadmium telluride modules are used in the facility. Due to the winning bid of the tender, which set a new record low tariff of just US $5.89 per kilowatt hour for the 200 MWP second phase of the project, attention was drawn to it on a global scale. This is around 20% less than any other unsubsidized power purchase agreement PPA, that has ever been witnessed in the history of the globe. A 25-year time period is specified for the PPA. The yearly production will be around 430 gigawatt hour per year assuming the same capacity factor as for phase 1, 24.6%. The third phase of 800 MWP was made public by Dubai Electricity and Water Authority, DIWA, in April 2015. The contract for phase 3 was given to a group led by Abu Dubai Future Energy Company, Mazdar, in June 2016. In 2020, the third phase was finished. Throughout its development, the fourth phase of the solar park's features underwent a number of changes. Diwa initially requested expressions of interest EOI, for a 200 MWE CSP project in October 2016, then in June 2017 it announced the successful offer at a cost of 9.45 US cents per kWh. Three months later, in September 2017, the 700 MWE final project was unveiled, highlighting its enormous molten salt thermal energy storage capacity and record-breaking 7.30 US cents per kilowatt-hour purchase price. It included a 600 MWE parabolic trough and a 100 MWE solar power tower. Analysts point out that this extremely low number was made possible by a long PPA of 35 years and very low financing costs. Later in 2018, 
it was revealed that the project, now known as NOR Energy One, would receive an addition of 250 MW of solar PV. The solar power tower, which was finished in 2020 and stands at 262.44 M, 861 Fort, is the tallest in the world, surpassing the 260 M tower at the Ashalim power station in Israel by by 2.44 M. The Dubai Electricity and Water Authority, DIWA, a state-owned power business, manages and operates the project, which was put into place by Dubai's Supreme Council of Energy. Additionally chosen to offer operations and maintenance, O&M, services was First Solar. The UAE announced the Green Economy Program in 2012 to promote sustainable growth and position the nation as a leader in green technology, goods, and economies. This program and a broader commitment to sustainable development initiatives in the UAE are supported by the establishment of the Diwa Solar Park in Dubai. The ambitious objective of the Dubai Clean Energy Strategy 2050 is to achieve a major portion of the UAE's energy mix based on renewable energy sources. By the year 2050, the policy aims to generate 42,000 MW, or 75% of the Emirates energy, from clean sources. And guess what? They're not just stopping at power. They're testing how sunlight can desalinate seawater, producing clean drinking water from the desert. When you think of the Middle East, you think of oil. But this, this is a new chapter. A region once fueled by fossil energy is now exporting innovation. This is also a lesson in resilience. Desert heat, dust and sandstorms. These aren't challenges. They are opportunities for innovation. Every solar panel here is tested to survive extreme weather conditions. And through partnerships with global firms from Spain, China and the UAE, the park is becoming a living lab for desert energy. Every year, this project prevents over 6.5 million tons of carbon emissions, the equivalent of removing 1.3 million cars off the roads. It's also creating new jobs, new technologies and new inspiration for the region. It's proof that sustainability isn't just a trend, it's the next economy. From the solar park right now, we have exceeded 2,600 megawatts, which contributes to over 16% of the energy mix in the city of Dubai. Total capacity the solar park will reach is 5,000 megawatts, and that is by 2030. From an investor's eye, this means opportunity. From a citizen's heart, this means hope. And from a storyteller's soul, it means that the world can change if we imagine differently. The global push for renewable energy is becoming more pronounced. Nations that attended the COP28 climate talks in Dubai pledged to triple renewable capacity by 2030. And they signed a landmark deal agreed to transition away from fossil fuels. But still, some experts expect to see a coexistence between renewables and non-renewables in the energy mix. I imagine standing there surrounded by thousands of mirrors reflecting the same sun. I can't help but think that the future isn't waiting for us. It's already here. In 10 years, the energy that lights up your home, powers your car and cools your city could come from the same sunlight touching my face right now. So next time you feel the desert sun, remember, it's not just heat, it's potential. I'm Madhura Naik and this was the first episode of Green Dubai, where innovation meets inspiration. So until next time, keep chasing the light. <laughs>